Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to recover deleted files from your computer. This is going to be a full tutorial demonstration of using a software that I use found at savemyfiles.net. That link is also directly under this video. You can either type it in your browser or just click on it under the video in the description box and it will take you straight to this page here where you can get more information about it and you or you can just come down here and click download now for the trial version and you can see all the features of it you can read success stories you can see that this company is a Microsoft partner so this is really good legit software when you install it you're not going to get bloatware or a lot of the other uh, software attached to it that's going to make you download this is the only program that comes with this file that you download and install and it works extremely well to recover deleted files from your computer from your laptop uh, or even extern external devices um, even if you've reformatted hard drives whether they're images whether they're videos documents it doesn't matter as long as you haven't overwritten those files uh, there's a very good possibility you're going to be able to recover them and through this trial version you're going to be able to find that out before you even register the software so go here now to savemyfiles.net download the software and once you download it go ahead and install it and when you install it you're going to come to a screen like this here this is the main uh, window you get when you open it up and it's going to ask you to do a quick scan a full scan or a guided scan the best way to do this if you're not familiar with how to use tools uh, such as this just go to the guided scan click start scan and it's going to open up a new window it says and it gives you more options if you want to cover items from your hard drive from a reformatted drive from an existing partition you can choose which one uh, if you want to recover lost emails or even if you want to recover items on an external device such as iPod digital cameras USB drives or whatever it is uh, you can go through this scan click start scan and it's going to go through and it's going to find all those files that it can recover for you and it's going to show them to you now another way you can do it is by going to the advanced button here and you can simply choose on your computer if you want to scan your recycle bin or corrupted hard drives or reformatted partitions or whatever it is it basically gives you a lot of options here and also down here which drive you want to scan whether it's a USB drive an external hard drive uh, or your even just your Windows drive uh, you got all those options so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go to the scan we're going to do a guided scan I'm going to click start scan and Let's see. No, let's actually go to advanced. I got a hard or a flash drive. We're going to scan. Now, right now, if we look here, I have a USB drive, an external drive, and then these are other slots I have uh, where I can put a other drives in that uh, it'll recognize. And I got a flash drive. I want to go ahead and put it in here, and you'll be able to see exactly how it works. Okay, and you can see here, flash drive, it's showing you there's nothing on here. Everything's been wiped off of it. And I'm going to click refresh and give it a second here to recognize the drive. And it's going to pop up for me. Okay, there it is. It says flash drive right there. And I got to uncheck all these again. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click start scan and immediately it's going to start running through and getting all the data off this drive and it's going to show you what it can recover before you even register the software that way you know if it's worth it or not or if it's going to be able to recover those files uh, photos images you can see here all the different types of files that it can recover and one nice thing about this is on the images if you click this plus sign you can go through here and you can actually see the images that it's going to recover and if you just hold your mouse over one of these uh, it, it'll actually pop up and show you that image and let you know that it is recoverable. And if a file is not recoverable, most likely it's not going to show up. Let's scroll on down here some. You can see how many it's already found in through here. And I'm not sure what all these are. These are just. Now you saw earlier when I opened up this drive, there was nothing on it, and it's pulling all this. Um, all these images off of it which was previously put on the drive and it's saying you know we can recover all these and this is really great especially if you've lost a lot of really important photographs um, pictures videos documents because it's going to recover all these for you as, uh, as long, long as I said earlier as long as you haven't overwritten those files uh, by installing other things on, to, on the flash drive once they've been deleted because then there may be a chance you might not be able to recover them but if you haven't uh, either way I suggest you download this tool uh, just to run it and see if you can recover them you can see here it's already found about 20,000 items 
that I've had on this flash drive. And I had this flash drive for years and I've installed, uninstalled, installed, uninstalled things. And so that's why there's so many files that it's finding on here from text, audio, documents, everything. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. And then when I do that, it's going to give me a breakdown of all the items it found. And down here, it's going to ask me for the file recovery location. And basically, this is where I want to put the files once I recover them. And you can change this location to whatever you want. You can put it on a different hard drive. You can put it on your desktop. Uh, you can put it in a Dropbox account or whatever you want. And then once you, once you choose that, all you have to do is uh, come over here and click recover and it's going to start immediately gathering all that data and putting it in there in that uh, specific location which you told it to so this is an excellent tool it works really well and there's a lot of tools out there on the market that will allow you to recover files and most of them are very expensive tools this one here you can find at savemyfiles.net uh, like I said that link is under this video it has a trial version where you can check it out and if you choose to register it to recover those files once you find out that it can recover them I believe it's about only like thirty nine dollars I think it's what I paid for it last year so it's a really good tool we've been using it for our business for a long time now and it works very well so that's my recommendation and my review of this software product and my tutorial on how to recover deleted files from your computer